Hey, shout out Capo Risky on my daughter. Famous motherfuckers that you ran into that you thought was that, and when you met them, they was weird as hell. That only happened when I was on the set of Empire. You was on Empire? Yeah, so I was on the episode of Empire. I don't recall the season or the episode, but I can tell you exactly what happened because I was acting in the episode. Uh, it was the episode where Lucius's white son came and confronted him at the club. Um, I was one of the little extras in the um, in the crowd. Um, that was really fucking long. It took two days to record the same fucking scene. I fucking hated it. Uh, that literally geared me not to act because that shit was annoying. I had to come back the next day with the same fucking outfit. Ugh. Um, what else? It was cool though. The the act actresses though they was a little bougie like. Okay, I'm tired of wearing my heels. Can somebody go? Can somebody go get my Uggs? And it was just like, come on, y'all. Y'all got us sitting up in here. I got on heels, standing up for eight hours. Come on, y'all. Y'all can get y'all Uggs, and I just got to stand up, huh? I ain't like that shit. But other than that, everybody was cool. Uh, nobody was really weird. Um, but I don't really expect much from people. It, it don't matter what type, how much money you got, for real. I don't really expect much from people because people gonna show you who they are regardless. So you can't really go into no, in, into a, a conversation or a predicament with somebody and just think you know them. Like they gotta show you. So. Now, how was it working with Terrence Howard? Um, it was good. I didn't really get to talk to him or be by him or nothing like that. But they knew they fucking lines, and every time we had a take, that shit was like perfect. Uh, it was just like all the uh, different angles and shit that was, you know, that they had to get around the club. That's what really took so fucking long. Um, everything was good, though. It was really nice to be in an environment with people of that status. Like, they not even in no music. Well, they is in music shit the whole time because they did, you know, uh, what's the name of that, that movie that they was in? You know, it's hard out here. Boy, I'm That's right the club. Yes. Police choked me out, so my voice a little fucked up. But, but, yeah, they low key is in the music shit. Even Empire is music, but for them as actors and actresses, like it, it was just a real different vibe. And I ain't gonna lie, I appreciated that experience more than I appreciated like what I got from it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciated being in a room with them type of people. Okay, cool. You want to elaborate on the police choking your ass out? Yeah, I can do that too. So June 30th, the day of pride, um, I actually had my birthday party slash music video. Stay tuned for Monster. That's coming out. Um, I did a music video. And then after the video, <laughs> after the video, um, we was just driving, trying to get home. We ran into pride. I had to pee outside, come back to the car. Yes, I had to pee outside. No, that's usually, that's female shit. Yeah, sure. came back to the car. You the police was like, oh, you can't walk in the street. So whatever. They pushed us out the fucking street. And when me and my homie turned around and kind of reacted to them, they got our ass. Shit, they pulled her by her hair, slanged her across the damn street. And once I saw that, I went and I grabbed her. And once I grabbed her ass, they choked me. From behind, I don't even know who choked me type shit. So you're saying a male officer choked you out? A man officer choked my ass out for 30 seconds. Was he black or what? He was Hispanic, I believe. Oh. Ain't that some shit, bitch? I, I thought Hispanic uh, males like women like you. I, I thought was, they did, too. That's crazy. Because I didn't even touch nobody but her. I just pulled her away from the other officer. And he got behind me and choked my ass, literally like this. And I got asthma, bro. Like, I just developed that shit last year. So don't do, like, what? I'm an artist. You done fucked up my throat. Like, they gonna, they gonna get their shit. Fucking up your throat is crazy. They fucked up my throat. I can't even get the hooked correctly. Damn. Officer, <laughs> you tripping. Oh, uh, <laughs> why is he texting me? The future, future projects, what we got, what, what you got coming? I got Cap Cap coming out with Big Mouth Bo. We also gonna drop a music video to our song, 290-294. That's already out on all platforms. Um, I got a song with uh, Rio Badass. Um, 
Really dope artist. That song should be coming out soon. I hope, girl, don't play with me. I love that song. Uh, and Isa Chanel, um, as soon as I get my flight to Atlanta, we're going to do that. So I got a lot of stuff coming out, actually. And I'm going to drop a mixtape, so be tuned for that, too. Yo, it's your girl Shelly Banks, the Out West 290 Go, and we just rocked this interview with Risky Visions. Make sure y'all go check this shit out. We working hard, they working hard, let's eat. Uh, you wanna hear that? No, I want you to start from the top, start doing my alley. Huh? Start from the top, start doing my alley. So everything that you just did was just ends and up? Yeah. Type shit. You got a point? <laughs> Yo, it's Supreme Malik, right? That's his name? Yep. You you did, you did. I did, actually didn't watch it, but I seen that you work with him. I seen him on Facebook. I really don't know who he is like that, but how would it, how was it working with uh, uh, a He was been getting knocked out. Him and his brother. He was annoying? Yes, he is annoying. Like, he's like that in real life? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I respect they hustle. I respect they, you know, what they doing. People like to react to negative shit. So why don't we bring some negative shit and try to make it, you know what I'm saying? Clickbait type shit because... Once the motherfuckers hear, oh, he's saying Shelly Bang's music weak, blah, blah, blah. And you know what I'm saying? They go in, go check it out themselves and see that I'm not really weak. It's just the content that he's doing. So I appreciated him for that. It was, it was dope. It was how he was back to it. Yep. But did he, so he was really on the episode saying that your shit was weak? Yeah. <laughs> how, did you take that personal? No, because I don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> hey, shout out Capo Risky on my daughter.